was turns with DiCaprio starting with The Quick and the Dead. Now this is a Sam Raimi movie. This is before, you know, Iron Man trilogy and after Evil Dead. So it's interesting seeing him doing a Western with DiCaprio and Sharon Stone and all these other actors. And the best part about this movie is the duel tournament. In these close up shots in the faces right before they start dueling and shooting. It's like a good chunk of it, like probably 60% of it. There's a bunch of people that get shot. Some of them die. And you got an evil, I guess, mayor or leader of this whole town, western town. Sharon Stone is the main character. The movie opens up with her going to Grey's and then going into this town because she's on a revenge trip. She wants revenge on this one guy who is the current leader or person leading this whole town. He killed her father years ago. She wasn't able to shoot him, kill her own father. Ever since that incident, she's trained herself to become a gunslinger. In the very beginning of the film, this random dude who is locked forever next to this cart forever and ever. And I guess she is a badass in a way. I mean, she holds her own, doesn't take anyone's shit she's just kind of observing this town seeing if that one guy is there and he is there but she's just observant alone can handle herself until this one guy named court i think yeah i think his name is court apparently she saved them because i don't know i actually forgot why she saved them all i know is that he's got some quick ass hands and town was gonna hang him but she saved them shot the rope for reasons i forgot about the one part of the movie that i just don't care about i just checked out she's like into him i think not really as good as he looks or seems and i don't know i just didn't care for this character he was essentially their slave this town's slave to move around do some things be a part of the duel tournament but that's really it and then at the end he becomes a sheriff overtaking this town but yeah i just didn't care about this character one thing that did surprise me is that DiCaprio did die and it was kind of teased when the town evil mustache guy or whatever told him that you're gonna die if you don't have quick hands or like he just commented on his hands and how they're not quick later on when he's in a duel next to him he loses and dies for it and it is heartbreaking because DiCaprio is a kid essentially in this movie and he seems to be you know nice happy and whatnot brought Sharon Stone to his place to sleep on that hard bed and won his first duel like a badass but even then I didn't think he was gonna die and then that guy mentioned his hands and the gun store and then them dueling and the end the end him dying was actually pretty sad because he wanted to see this kid win and he didn't he paid the price for it and he was a sacrifice and then after that the movie kind of goes the way that you would expect it Sharon Stone steps up she has a duel with that one man guy or whatever he thinks that he's got her but no he's got a hole in his heart killing him right in front of everyone which by the way this tournament is hella dangerous they can accidentally shoot people there's people watching close by not too close but it's not like far enough where they won't get accidentally shot and so i just thought wait a minute this is uh this is very dangerous a bullet might go through your eye or knee or the hole or whatever you know like it's some dangerous ass shit and so in return she saves this town from being corrupted by this one dude and gets revenge and makes court the sheriff while also redeeming DiCaprio as well for his death so in the end the quick and the dead it's a good movie it doesn't feel like there is happiness to it because of those close-up shots of like people's faces right before they shoot that to me felt more Sam Raimi than anything in this movie because I don't picture him doing a western at all I grew up watching his spider-man trilogy and that is all I know him from aside from that and evil dead so horror and comic book that's all I knew him as and so jumping into this movie seeing Sam Raimi directed by Sam Raimi was like this is gonna be pretty much camp be in a way and it is Sharon Stone's a badass but feels like she doesn't do much because of that tournament she's there waiting for her opportunity the court stuff don't really care about his character and DiCaprio made a sacrifice so this is a good western I like it I don't watch much western at all I don't mind the genre I just don't go out of my way to watch it because I'm not like invested or in love with the genre and then The Revenant. I didn't think this movie was a western at all until research. You just google and like, wait, this is a western? I don't picture it as a western, but I guess it is. And the whole movie is about survival. They add on, you know, revenge with DiCaprio and bears and shit. But what I got out of it is survival. Surviving goddamn nature because it is scary as hell. In the woods, in the snow, bears and animals and shit. And natives, 18 something? It's around that time, 18th century or whatever. Once natives attack these people which i think they're soldiers or not soldiers i mean they have guns and uniforms but i'm just calling them people because again i don't know my history but that opening sequence of people being killed by natives arrows all of them having to flee was a really great way to open up the movie because people are willing to do anything to survive for themselves and maybe for a tribe and then i also think there's a one shot in there across the capra with arrows shooting people in the background fighting love that shot because of daredevil i just have this thing now for one shots love that shit
shit. So the only characters that I recognize or know is DiCaprio and then the one kid from Where the Millers or I think he's been cast as Adam Warlock. That character and that kid. And then that one guy that decides to leave DiCaprio behind. I'm only gonna mention those because that's kind of the only plot. Like this movie isn't plot heavy, which is fine because again, DiCaprio's in the woods. He has to survive. That's the whole point of it. And so the only story or plot is this revenge thing that he has once he makes it to this village or whatever he's gonna go after that one dude and go kill him and then that bear scene the first time i saw this was on a quarter digital or quarter crew visual effects artist reacts i think they did a scene about this very early on into that series and they were talking about whether that big ass bear was cg or not i think it was they either confirmed or predicted that it was a guy in a blue screen costume and something was pulling dicaprio and like there's like three stages to this where at first he doesn't die yet but then the bear goes around he like gets a gun shoots it bites more and more and then another stage where they start falling down and then that's when his people come in and get rid of this bear but that scene alone is the one moment and scene where i'm like you know what this movie you should watch it just for this scene because it's scary man it is again nature is scary as fuck i do not want to be alone in the woods especially in snow cold as fuck and then see this big ass bear try to eat you hell no after trying to drag dicaprio through all these hurdles one of the dudes are like we gotta leave him he put something in his mouth or whatever and then that one kid is like he wants to help but can't and has to leave there are scenes of him and that guy just kind of eyeing each other and being like shut up kid don't say anything and he wants to say something but can't that would backfire because he gets his ass beat this leads into him surviving on his own despite being injured he survives he goes to his river crawling by the way drinking some cold ass water spits out blood first until he meets this native guy who seems to be on his own and doesn't care about this whole war that's going on or territory bullshit and it is there that he gets some good luck they eat i think horse meat it's raw meat and he just gotta do what he's gotta do you can't just be there and be like no i'm not gonna eat it it's not cooked well you're gonna die so just go ahead and eat it and that's what he does you gotta do what you gotta do he eventually makes it there and gets his revenge on that one guy going out in the wood and snow again he's able to get his revenge but kind of does it in a way where he pushes that one guy allows the i think elk dog to kill him just kind of leave him alone he's climbing up here's the voice of his wife or i thought it was the one girl that he saved in the middle of the movie where she was getting pounded by that one dude it's either her or his wife the last thing that you hear is his breath implying that he either made it or didn't i'm assuming he did it i mean he survived a lot so it's kind of i don't know I, I don't believe it he didn't make it but he probably made it so in the end the revenant is a good ass movie i remember this movie being a huge thing back in like late 2015 it was getting awards and whatnot and you know it deserves it just for just everything despite being most of it in the woods in the snow i enjoyed it thoroughly and with plot that's not a lot for me it's not trying to build like a world or know all these characters you just know that dicaprio is the main guy he's been betrayed and he wants to get his revenge but despite all of that i still quite enjoy this movie so it's just a well-made film and that is it for dicaprio's western movies the revenant didn't really feel like a western i'll take it but two movies that are fun revenant is grounded but also it feels like you're in the moment with dicaprio being stuck all alone in the woods in the snow being left and betrayed by one of your group members because of survival and greediness and then the quick and i did was just fun and campy because of sam raimi really liked all of those close-up shots of just looking at the face before they shoot and duel but just fun as well so that is it for me this has been the road so far and thank you for watching